Welcome to the Snake Pit. What's up, y'all? Thanks for joining me back to the channel. I got two things. Two things, and I want to get this vid up quick. Because the first one, David Brown, the infamous author, you have the opportunity to actually interact with him if you act fast, for free, and over the internet. So, from your basement in your underwear. And the second one is protecting yourself with, uh, you know, copyright and your YouTube vids if you're putting YouTube vids up. Yeah, I had another one stolen using on Facebook to sell some crap. So, first off, David Brown. The author of these two books, and he has a third one coming out in the near future. First one, Daddy Had to Say Goodbye. And then the second one, Flesh of a Fraud. So, just to, I don't want to ruin these books, but this is a fictionalized version of his own life. And uh, that, as far as I know, follows fairly closely to actually real events that happen. And he was a uh, various jobs, paramedic, police officer, and he a few other choice things, I guess. I'll let you discover that for yourself um, in this book here. But And then the second one, Flesh of a Fraud, kind of the an anonymity, is that the right word? So this is more, a little more uh, anonymous, kind of a, a higher level view of what was going on. This is a little more in-depth, a little more personal type of book if I'm doing that justice. But what I like about these, they're kind of, there's some grit, it's gritty reading. I'll put, put it that way, gritty. And, but, it may be a little raw as well. There's stuff in there that's helped me. There's stuff in here that's helped other people uh, deal with things. You know, whether it's depression or alcoholism or some type of just that that thing that's dragging you down in life, there's things in here, and there's some stories in here that man, it yeah, it can make a girl man cry. Let's put it that, that way. So I really appreciate those books as and David Brown as an author. You can go go interact with him on. Um, Spreaker, I'll put the link down below tonight at let's see 8 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time because I like being up on the mountain. <laughs> so you don't have a lot of time, uh, don't know how quick I can get this vid up if you want to actually interact with them because they're when it's live on Spreaker, there's a chat room. So build, throw you a login, it's free, and you can chat and, and they'll maybe look at the comments and respond to that type of thing but go check that out it's Miss Bomey's zone and if you miss it if you can't do it live it's up there you can watch the, watch it afterwards as a recording and it's also on a couple of I think iHeart or something like that for a podcast type format so it's available if you miss it now protecting your channel I had another one of my vids um, stolen and cut up and used this time in a Facebook ad <laughs> I mean it's weird like I start this is the second time in like the last few months I stumbled on this and this one was for uh, the f a five ounce um, coin from the US Mint for the Apollo moon landing and if you remember that vid if you watched it I actually take that sucker out and I'm holding it in my hand that type of thing there's a little Wookiee fuzz in it and I'm scrolling through my Facebook you know, look at all this, the memes everyone's putting in. Boom, there's an ad. And I'm like, those hands look familiar. <laughs> and, you know, click on it and it's like me talking. And it's, it's my video. I recognize it. I'm like, that's mine. They did not ask me to use it. They cut it up. They took the watermark out. Uh, that type of thing. I, I wouldn't have had a problem with it if they had put a link to my video in there. You know, that type of thing. Or, you know, ask put a link in, in to my actual video. Instead there is capitalizing on thieving my my work. So I did file a claim against them uh, through the Facebook to get it taken down. I don't know. You know, they have accepted the claim right now. But and then um, who knows what else, but I do have copyright on my channel. For my channel, I took that extra step a few years back because videos are being stolen. You have you have protection already. This just takes it to the next level, and 
you know I've got it I've got it you can see there there's my channel uh, logos protected channels protected you know the videos thing is you gotta enforce it so that's what I did by by throwing that on there plus you know this company seems a little shady they're selling reselling this coin that's still available um, I'm pretty sure it's still available from the US Mint directly so they're marking it up and I don't like them doing that with my video to begin with and then people are already commenting these people are scammers all that stuff now I've got me in a video as if I'm advertising for them so that's another beef I have right there so protect yourself try to protect your content as best you can I know it's a digital world thieving is happen happening piracy you know with that said you know people like my friends like John Solar any people I'm interacting with with VRs and stuff of course you can take my video and clip it and throw it in a VR or throw it into a promo vid you know that type of thing perfectly acceptable but when some unscrupulous company that is not even based in the US from what I can tell is trying to resell items using my work <laughs> no bueno yeah and the one before this was someone stole they wrote an article about a red, well, yeah, it was a Red Rider, uh, the adult, the adult version, which I don't even have, but they stole my picture of me holding a Red Rider in the backyard, you know, and had that on their article. Daisy reposted it. That one, I was like, what the heck? You know, it's just my picture, but I was like, they didn't contact me and ask me for that. And you know, I told, I, I contact Daisy, and it's like, that's they stole this picture, and they apologized, even though it wasn't their fault, because they had reposted it. I'm like, it's fine. This one I'll kind of let go, but it'd be nice if they'd actually ask or post a link. And that person that did that, did that uh, web article, there was no contact information for them. So the best I could do is submit a thing where I saw it, which was through the Facebook. There it is. Protect your work, I guess, as best you can. <laughs> we put a lot of effort into stuff. Well, it didn't seem like it, I guess, but whatever. And... More importantly, David Brown, if you're interested, um, even if you haven't read these books, if you're interested in interacting with an, an actual author, um, check out the Spreaker. Yeah, it's like Speaker, except they put a P and a R in there. They snuck that right in. Spreaker um, podcast. What I like is it's live. You can do the chat. There's no call in, so that's not as fun, but uh, it's cool. I'll be in there so you can interact with me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a great experience, but, uh, you know, go. I'll put the link down below. I need to end this vid so I can get it uploaded so you know. Thanks for watching. Boom.